Hey guys, so good morning. So I just pulled up to the natural gardener. It's Sunday morning and I'm gonna get some plant starts for the fall garden because my plant starts aren't doing well and I'll explain why later. Um, I think I mentioned it in the last video, but I really wanna get the fall garden planted today because I'm just like, it's been a week and I just need something good to happen and I think yesterday was like the last day that it's going to be over a hundred so hopefully these fall plants can make it <laughs> until it cools down a little bit and yeah so we're going to go in the fall into the natural garden room I'm only buying plant starts I'm not going to buy, buy anything else that's it I'm telling myself this right now because I'm on a budget so all right this is awkward so So here is what I picked up, um, let's see, we have a broccoli, we have cheddar cauliflower, which of course I'm going to get the unique varieties because it's more fun. We have another cauliflower, let's see, this one is twister, big, heavy, well domed heads. So yeah, I really like cauliflower. Um, I like all brassicas. We got some Brussels sprouts and more Brussels sprouts. I think Brussels sprouts are great because they are pretty expensive. <laughs> so growing them is, you know, it's kind of worth it. Um, some cabbage, green cabbage. I got three of these red cabbages. And then I think this is more Brussels sprouts. No, this is a broccoli that says it's going to make one kind of medium-sized head and then it will have smaller like shoots kind of like um no that's a different one kind of like what am i trying to think of the name like the small broccoli oh my gosh you guys know what i'm talking about so it'll have like two crops which is nice and then another type of broccoli uh these are red brussels sprouts another red brussels sprout and then last time i went i picked up some other brussels sprouts um one of them <laughs> two of them already got destroyed by caterpillars which is sad and then collard greens i was thinking of putting this in the green stock just to see how it goes and then another brussels sprout and then i got a mint this is apple mint um because my mint is not doing well and i got a eggplant from the farmer's market actually from a farmer so i also have these are what these are my seedlings that i recently started these are like cabbage and kale mostly and then like some nasturtium and in all the ones that didn't pop up i put some rattlesnake beans yesterday so hopefully we'll get some of those because i think we have plenty of time for beans right now um because it's not going to freeze for a long time um but hopefully these will do something here's what happened to my seedlings <laughs> um basically i went out of town for like 18 days and these got set in the rain and then they just are in they're in this like barky soil it's just all around bad situation so i don't think that any of them are going to make it they were doing really well before i left for out of town but unfortunately you know, I just couldn't take care of them while I was gone, and yeah, so that's why we bought these, <laughs> and obviously they look a lot better, so hopefully these will produce, and we'll have a good fall crop, because I really need it, <laughs> and then let me show you what I did the other day, I found this kiddie pool, and I was like, oh, like on the side of the road, and I was like, oh, you know, I never have enough growing space, and I had some flowers that really needed to be put in the ground, so I went ahead and filled it with soil and yeah so we've got this is like a bee balm calendula i don't know what this is i think it might be cat catnip um there's two of two of those and then this is a type of spinach that 
um, someone sent me, which is doing really well. I'm gonna put the other one in the main garden bed. Um, and then this is a marigold. So hopefully this will be like nice and, and flower, flowery pretty soon. And then I put some radish seeds in between them. Um, but it's just kind of, I don't know, just kind of a fun project. It looks kind of weird because it's in a swimming pool, but you know, once it'll be full of flowers, I think it'll look cute. All right, so we're home. My hair is up. My hat is on. I'm ready to get these beds set up and ready for the seedlings I just bought. So we've got like 20 mosquito candles going because it's so bad. Like, can't be up. It's, it's miserable. I've decided that Austin has four seasons, summer one, summer two, mosquitoes, and oh yeah, that's why I live here because the actual seasons don't coincide with how I feel like it doesn't feel like fall it feels like mosquito season so yeah oh the other thing before I show you my seedlings I picked up some shallots and I picked up 10 of these and I picked up two bowls of elephant garlic I only got two because they were three dollars each there's mosquitoes on me and it's kind of expensive but it says it makes a baseball size head of garlic but I all also already have this garlic that I showed you in the last video. Um, and so I'm not planting that today because I'm waiting for one of the beds to the Bokashi compost to break down. And the other thing I picked up is I got about 105 onions. So I need to find a place for those. I think I'm gonna do them in one of the in-ground beds because I don't think we're gonna move in the next six months. So should be fine, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna remove the summer garden. And that means I'm gonna remove plants that are still producing, which hurts me a little, but at the same time, I'm kind of over it. Um, mostly okra, I already ripped out a bunch of okra yesterday or two days ago because we just don't really like it. So I've been putting it in stews and stuff and it's fine, but I was really hoping for like, that it would be really good if I like breaded it and put it in the air fryer, like kind of like fried okra, cause fried okra is good, you know? And I do like it in like, Sorry, I'm doing this because there's a lot of mosquitoes and I'm trying not to get any bites, but sorry, it's like the worst video. But anyways, it's okay in like stews and stuff, um, but I really wanted it for like fried okra, but like air fried and it just doesn't taste good because I think when you fry it, it like makes it softer, but then when you air fry it, it doesn't, it doesn't have the same effect. So it's kind of a, okay, I gotta move. Let me just go buy my okra. So here's my okra while I'm talking about it. It did pretty well. Um, it has a lot of pods on it. I'll pick all these. The one, like it's it's getting bugs. Um, it had ants really bad. And so anyways, I really just want to start the fall garden and I'm like, okay, I'm done with the summer garden. So I ripped out okra over here in this garden bed here this garden bed here and I think I'm gonna take all the flowers out which is kind of sad but um I just want to have space and I'm that's the thing when you're an urban gardener and you don't have unlimited space you have to make decisions like this so I'm gonna rip all the flowers out I'll probably leave the sweet potatoes they're not ready yet so I dug up one bed of sweet potatoes and the potatoes were very small so I mean at least there was some potatoes so I know something's happening but I'm gonna leave the sweet potatoes, but I don't really know if that's a good idea because what happens when I have to dig them up and I still have plants in the ground? I don't know. But anyways, I'm gonna remo remove these flowers, remove the okra. I'm gonna remove my big bell pepper because it sucks. <laughs> it produces the tiniest peppers and it's constantly stressed. I know it's stressed. Um, all my peppers and containers are doing really well, but that pepper that's in the garden bed is super stressed. And so I'm just going to remove it and that will give me a lot of space. And then I'll turn you around and I'll show you what I did yesterday. So here in this raised bed, I dug up sweet potatoes. I left some of my flowers and I tried to work around them and not damage them. Um, but I'm going to put some stuff in here. So I should have plenty of space for all of these brassicas but I have to top everything with compost so basically 
I have to top everything with compost and I don't want to because it's gross. <laughs> Look, so this is what I've been working on. So here's my compost sifter. And then this is the compost that I sifted already. And it looks fine, it looks good. But guys, compost is kind of gross. So I know that I'm like a gardener and I should be like, oh yeah, compost, it's so good. And it is, you need compost for your plants. But it's still kind of gross to like dig around in your composter and pull it out. So I'm not looking forward to that. Okay, I'm just gonna do it. I'm stalling because I don't want to do it, but I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna put my headphones in and listen to something while I do it so I can't show you all um, because I need something like good. And there's so many flies. Oh, you guys, the bugs lately. Eh, I'm just like, I don't mind like bugs, like, you know, like whatever, garden bugs, but flies and mosquitoes disgusting disgusting <sighs> okay i'm gonna do it now i'm gonna go put my headphones in and i'm gonna do the compost and then i'm gonna rip up my okra and the flowers and we're just gonna we're just gonna garden this is what i'm here for right gardening i love it okay 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 bye all right so i have removed the flowers the okra I left with the two eggplants, I left my tomato, um, and I kind of tried to consolidate the sweet potatoes into one area because a lot of it's just vines. Um, so I'm going to remove all the mulch, top these areas with compost, do the same to this bed, and the same to the far bed where I just removed the okra as well, and top them with compost. This is what I got. There's more in there, but... I'm gonna do this and then I'm gonna mix it with worm castings that I purchased and yeah hopefully uh, that compost is ready and it won't like burn my plants I don't know but anyways so I'm still getting eaten by mosquitoes so I'm trying to work as fast as I possibly can so yeah that's the update all right so we got some stuff done we planted three cauliflowers here uh, where the okra was I planted oops the other of those Okinawa spinaches. You can't see it. It's it's there. It's in between the sweet potatoes. And then I ended up moving this basil plant from the other planter. I don't know if it'll make it, but I try not to disturb the roots. And I'll show you why I moved this in a second here. And then we've got the broccolis over here. Two are here. I added the third eggplant, so now we have three eggplants. And maybe these will actually grow now that they're not like shaded out. And then I moved the, some of the flowers as well from that other bed and then two other broccolis. So basically what I'll show you is what I did. So this bed, when I got it, I thought it'd be a great idea to like fill the bottom with wood. So it's about, it's about 18 inches deep. So I thought I would fill about six inches, six to eight inches with like logs and things. And yeah, I know it looks really bad, but, um, and then fill the rest with dirt. Well, that was a very bad idea. I think if you're gonna do that, it needs to be a much deeper bed um, because the plants were really struggling around those logs. So I removed the logs as best as I could. So obviously now I need more soil to top this up. And so that's what I need to do. And this is where I'm gonna put the remaining cabbages and the Brussels sprouts. And I think this might actually be a good spot for them because they'll be off the ground, less pest, things like that so we need to get some soil and I think probably three bags top that up top it with compost and then we can plant those remaining cabbages then I wanted to show you how the back guard bed is doing um, I actually put in a soaker hose a couple days ago and I'm loving it so far it's totally sporadic because that you should really put in the soaker hose before you put the plants in for this reason because then you can make like nice lines and put your plants between them but I was working around all the plants that I put in here so this was all started from seed in ground and the beans are doing really well a lot of the brassicas that I've planted are getting eaten which you know I'm not surprised about which is why I want to have the seed starts um, they're just a little more pest resilient some of these might make it um, but yeah they just get eaten up and then the beans are doing well so I actually just came in and planted about 
30 more bush bean beans in here um, to fill in some of the gaps. So hopefully there'll be even more beans coming. Um, and then in here, carrots are starting to pop up. I sowed beets in here, um, but the seeds were kind of old. So I went ahead and re-sowed some carrots. Um, there's actually a kale right there that looks pretty good. I don't know if you can see it. But I went ahead and re-sowed um, carrots that I know will germinate in here yesterday. And then the radishes are doing all right. Again, pest damage, that's gonna happen right now. Um, it's still really hot, there's a lot of pest. And yeah, it's just gonna happen. But um, they seem to be doing okay, sorry. My shoe is full of water, it's a gross sound. But anyways, radishes are doing pretty good. I just planted some more seeds in some other areas. So hopefully we will get some radishes, but I think overall this, this bed is looking pretty good. Uh, hopefully carrots will start to happen now that I have the soaker hose and it's getting like actually consistently soaked. Um, but yeah, excited about this garden. All right, so I didn't get everything done today, but we did get about 10 seedlings planted. And the good thing is that all I have to do is add a couple bags of soil to that other bed, plant cabbages and Brussels sprouts. And then the fall garden is pretty much planted, which is exciting because I just feel like I've been waiting for this forever. And yeah, I'm excited about it. I'm hoping it'll cool down and sorry, the lighting's weird. Hoping it'll cool down and we will have a successful fall season. Um, but if not, you know, whatever, that's life. So. I feel like my gar my yard is just constantly a mess. So if you have any tips for like keeping your yard clean, because it's like, I clean it up and then it's like, the next day it's like trashed again. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. There's like poison ivy, I'm like literally standing in poison ivy. I don't think I'm allergic to poison ivy or poison oak because I have stepped in it so much in this garden because it literally is everywhere in the back back yard, which we actually need to work on removing it. Um, because we're gonna do something with this area uh, that I just found out about. So we'll probably have to remove the poison oak, but I don't know how to do that. So if you have any ideas, let me know. So that's what I have for you today. I'm very excited about getting these seedlings in the ground and it's supposed to be dropping into the high 50s this week. I know it's like a miracle, what? So I'm hoping that it actually cools down and we can actually have fall season here. And yeah, I hope that you enjoyed this sporadic uh, vlog. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So, all right guys, I will talk to you in my next video. Happy gardening and subscribe if you wanna see more. Bye.